Alrighty, and welcome back to my uh, Mark of the Covenant progress update videos where I'm basically I'm just recording myself making the maps for this game so you can watch me make the game as I'm making it. Or at least the mapping part. I don't know that I'd want you to be able to look over my shoulder the entire time. So, got big city. Let's see, what should we do now? Hmm. So we've got the entrance, we've got the park, we've got the admin area. I'm looking to do about six or seven areas for this city. Maybe more. Because as I said in the first video, my uh, inspiration for a lot of this game is Planescape Torment. Old uh, Dungeons & Dragons RPG on the PC excellent game. Now let's see. It start off starts off in the hive. That has about f five maps, I think. Five. I mean, they're huge. I'm not going to try to do something that enormous. I'm a one-man show here. I don't have the time and ability to try and do something that huge. Since I'm basically working on this in between recording other videos. But it had that, and then there was like three or four. Well, no, there's the market, the in Upper Sigil, the nicer part of town. There's like the market, the industrial area, the the posh area. So I don't necessarily want to go in that deep a marketplace but we can do a marketplace that'll that'll work big city market all right so this is as I you can see I just copied what I had already uh, done here but we're going to go ahead and so basically we're just going to erase all this stuff by making it back into grass and then decide where we want to go from there go ahead and delete all the doors because we don't need those in the way just have doors floating in space which could be an interesting map area that would be an interesting puzzle be a pain in the ass, but it might be interesting. Just doors floating. So, this going this way is going to be the admin area. Going this way is going to be the park. I, I want to do more than four locations, though. So, maybe set up a choice where you can travel to from these four. Or simply have intermediary intermediary uh, no I got it I know what I can do easy enough all right get rid of all this for now so we just end up with this a great big green area so let's see, these are all four wide. Got our cobbles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alrighty, so then we have the street out here, so then we can go ahead and make some fencing. Go ahead and go with what we what I used for the city. What did I use? I used the straight one, so let's go with this the other one here. Alrighty, there we go. Do 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 do
And what about the middle area right there? Yeah, we go back over here. Get rid of that and uh and now we got ourselves a nice No, we don't need it that long. That'll work. So then we can set up some of this how Ah, and some of that how Show one off. Oh, some of that is hell. And preferably not do that, though. Yo, you bastards, come on. Fuck off. Oh, little fuel rough patches in the oh, like this. No, we do not like that. And wow, well, is the thing the hell? I have no idea why I'm talking like this. I'm just being a dipshit, I guess. Ah, yes, sir. All right, so it already looks more interesting, doesn't it? It's not just a big old blank green space. Don't really want lines, though, like that. Trying to avoid geometric shapes here, but. Unfortunately, it is the nature of the beastie. It's just going to be the way it is. So that breaks up the space. That makes it look more interesting, more used. It's not just a, a big green spot. So let's see this one here. We got different tents. Do we want to do tents? Tents aren't bad, but tents are a little bit... This is a marketplace, so we don't necessarily want a storefront, so tents might be the better option. But these are some tiny tents. Like, holy shit. Damn. Guess we'll have to go with a little bit of abstract stuff here. These are some tiny ass tents. I don't think I'm going to be able to get away with the tents. They just don't look right. So I guess we'll have like uh, just stalls that anybody can use I suppose. That would work. Just individual stalls. Let's see. What we got here? Flowers. It's not too bad. It's kind of interesting. Doesn't necessarily need to be that big though. Hmm. Wonder how I could set up like a storefront. Something I haven't done before either. It's just a stall rather than a full building. I wonder. Too obvious. Uh, that looks really strange. That looks even worse. Mm. <laughs> what I need is like a, an NPC here as a placeholder. Yes, you look kind of like a shopkeeper lady. Let's go ahead and get rid of this, because I need to 
we're going to have another one of our little learning experiences where we both learn together. So, lady, you can come stand right friggin' there. Where's the counter at? Counter space. I need counter space. That's what I need. Oh, hell, this is outside, so there is no counter space. I'd have to make something to be counter space. Fuck. Alrighty. Well, we can do that, I suppose. We got this plank right here. Which does not look right at all. Well, maybe I can get something out of this. Let's see how would I do this, maybe. So. I guess that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it really looks more like she's trapped in some sort of strange prison than standing in front of a... or inside of a... a booth of some kind. Use a different wall, maybe? Problem is that what really I need is something that's only about knee height there, you know, that would allow her to be right there and then cover up just part of her. Let's see, what do I got that might do the job? Something that'll do the job. I know how I would set it up. I just need to find the right graphic. No. 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 Dammity damn damn. Hmm. No. Yeah, no. Blasts and damn blasts and damnations. Actually, I need something about the size of these damn those. I wonder if I could get away with using these for different things. This is the lady that sells armor. She's a nice lady. Be nice to her. So what would I I'd go ahead and put the straight up grass there? Then the lady. Then I could put like the sword thing in front of her. And look at me tile sets. Cancel that. That is not what I needed. Tiles, tiles, tiles. Where are you? Big city tiles. And we need C D D D D D D and these you cannot walk on them. Can we set them as being like a bush? So you wouldn't be able to walk into them. And then, for the purposes of this, I could... Well, not that one. That one. Well, maybe. I could use those as countertop. So let's go ahead and save and test this hypothesis. Which we can do just by cutting Mark out of where he was, sticking him here, and let's give the lady some dialogue. Fuck you, buddy. Let's give her a face. Which one did we use? Does it look like that one? Probably her. Play. Just cancel. Save it right quick.
I haven't done anything with the music yet, really. And that's not doing what I want it to do at all. It's allowing me to talk to her, but it isn't hiding her. So, let's try... Instead of the... Bush setting, actually. We'll do it to where you can stand behind it. Passage. Four directions is you can't move on to it. Then passage. I cannot move on to it from the front, so this should if I'm doing this right, should allow it to have the lady standing behind it while Mark cannot move on to it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, it worked. It's just too big. <laughs> Oh, hell. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I should try it. Oh, experimentation. Experimentation. Let's go ahead and try it this way then. Is this the one I used? No, it isn't. How about this one then? Nope. Uh, this one then. Well, fuck it, I'll just change all of it then. Alrighty, so... Then we use the... Thing and put that down. Try it this way. See how it looks. If it looks okay, I'm cool with it. Yes, da 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 I guess it's not too bad. And you can talk to him. But her head looks like it's up on the roof. Which is a little bit odd. Yeah, her fucking head is up on the roof. See? Her head is on the roof. How in the hell you got the head on the roof? That makes no damn sense. Fucking hell. That looks funky as hell. And that looks weird. But let's go with it. For a second. The little tiny booth that's gonna have tons and tons and tons of weapons in it. Okay, so you get the sense that there's walls and she's inside of her little booth and you can talk to her. Fuck you, buddy. I guess that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks derpy as hell. I guess just making it bigger would probably solve some of that issue. Make it look more like more like a, a shop that's outside. So I guess we'd start off by getting rid of the that stuff. This is the counter. I'm gonna keep that and extend this out a little bit. Make it go up. Then there's a back wall that suddenly looks really stupid. And we'll have flowers on the roof. Because everybody knows that... Yeah, I'm going to have to use a different wall for the back. If I want that to work at all. I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't know. I do not know. Let's find some weapons and shit to stick on here. Which I don't have because that's indoor shit. Oh, hell. 
I guess doing an outdoor market isn't the best thing to do. <sighs> Bollocks. I guess that's where making up new tile sets works. It comes in. So let's go and we're going to do another tile set. Outdoor market. We want probably just the regular. No. Maybe these. No. No. Yeah, what the hell. Just the regular old school. Just the regular shit, more or less. No. Okay. A3. So we can go with no, 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 no. <laughs> I suppose that'll work. Sure, why not? And then we'd have to go through and fix all the other stuff later. That's fine. And we're going to go ahead and switch this to market. And <laughs> because I forgot about that, all of our stuff turns to tables and chairs. So now we have no fence. For the marketplace, we've got tables and chairs. Well, at least we've got some counter space now that we can work with from the old west set well we'll just have to do this the funky way as far as walls go and that's make them with building sure the fencing was nicer but fuck it There, a nice hedgerow. We're rocking the Casbah there instead because I forgot to put that in. So we don't have our signs anymore. Full canal. Well, I guess you'll just have to figure out what's what from the stuff that's inside. Bitches packing weaponry. There, it looks like a weapon shop. Where is it? Where is it? There you are. Oh, this one. Now we can see what we'll see. What else to see? We'll see what will be when you see it. There we go. That doesn't look horrible. And now we can't talk to the lady. Fuck. Oh, that's where the counters come in. So go back in here to our tiles. To these nice counter spaces here. 
I think, yes. Does it look like a counter so much as a... Can't talk there, counter. Or walk there, I should say. Alrighty. And... For some reason she has glasses out in front, so I need to change that to the other one. Because I'm not paying the fuck attention to what I'm doing. It doesn't look too bad, I suppose. It's not great. But it's not horrible. I mean, it looks kind of like a little stall outside. Fuck you, buddy. I mean, you can kind of see a roof here. The walls. But it's really flat. That's, I mean, everything in an RPG Maker game is going to look kind of flat, but this looks really flat. Like, it's a problem that it's not tall enough. And I need to extend the, the size of this part a little bit. Make the roof bigger? No, that didn't help. Is that the other right one? There. Ah, there we go. Now we've got some three dimensional shit going on. That's better. That's much better. Now it looks like an open shop. I almost wish I could do it like that, but then you lose the perspective again. Problem is... If I did it like that, that doesn't... But you completely lose any sense of 3D space there. Doing that. That sucks. Because, I mean, that doesn't look horrifyingly bad, but it, again, it makes it look like there's just this flat space and then this is on top of it. This, you at least get a sense of... Is it there? Yeah, that doesn't really help any. This doesn't look like something you'd be able to put up and take down at the end of the day. And then, of course, as soon as it rained, everything would be fucked up. Which is why it's going to always be easier to do an indoor market area. Uh, or each one is an individual building. Fuck. Oh, well. Gave it, a, gave it the old college try, I guess. Just have to go back to the the boring way of doing things. Sorry, lady. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. And we'll just go back to the big city. And luckily, we can just kind of leave that shit alone because I don't feel like changing the fence back again. And we'll just make little buildings here. Uh, let's see. Let's just go with... Something simple. Building. 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 These are way bigger than they need to be. Building. 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 Building, building. Buildings and buildings and buildings. Building. Building. 
Building. Building. Building. Building. Building. So Mark, you can come hang out over here for a second. Building. 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 Building, building, buildings. Do not need this many. Building. But we can throw in jokes and stuff with like a sex shop or something. That's always fun. One, two, three, 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 building. So then we can put on some roofs. Roof. What a building. We can make some of these smaller. Because we don't really need gigantic goddamn places. These are markets. Buildings. First come, first serve. Pick your building. Set up your stall. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Why not? That kind of looks like a stall right there. That's fucked up. Oh well. I like that. Fuck it. Fuck it, look it. No, let's go ahead and go with this one. Everybody up front has the flowers to match the to match the what's what's gonna call it this the wall. That thing, I'm a bomber, I'm a jiggy. Here we go. And we've got a reasonably interesting looking marketplace. That took way longer than it should have, and then it's just a matter of putting in doors. And then the question is, do we want to go with something more permanent looking, or like I said, first come, first serve, you set up your shop, and then you do whatever. So we can go ahead and do, like, the just the cloth. Now we can go ahead and see how it looks now. And that doesn't look that great, because for some reason the cloth more or less looks like it's just hanging on the outside of the building instead of being a doorway. So that's going to have to change. Don't look too good. What do we got down here? No, that's too fancy. Let's just go with something simple. So first we get rid of all these ones because we don't need them no more. They look like shite. For that kind of dull way, we copy them and we paste them in. Because we do this. And we talks with ridiculous accents when we's doing it. Just cause we's came.
and then we play and we check it out and see how it looks new games uh, so we're just checking shit out here and those still look like they're just kind of hanging in midair for the most part but they'll do there's a certain parts of this that you'll never be able to get to look absolutely perfect and we get ourselves a nice big market area markety markety mark mark it mark it well, the cobbles where there'll be shit moving around people walking around I have to look and see if I can find some horse and cart type of stuff and there you have it there's a marketplace so thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative or at least interesting progress video for Mark of the Covenant. This has been Ryan Acidheads Murphy. Thank you very much for watching once again. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, bye, bye.